What's up guys, Chef here. At the end of my last episode, I ended up journeying out into the forest looking for a new source of rubber as I didn't have enough to build the machines that I wanted, and I ended up getting stranded and lost out there during the night, fighting off some monsters, fighting for my life, surviving by the skin of my teeth. I eventually made it back here in one piece, did not die, and I went ahead and I built an extractor and a macerator. The footage I did record, but it ran a little bit long to fit in one video, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the footage sped up of how I built these here. Alright, now for this episode what I'd like to do is I'd like to move towards getting a quarry built. And I th believe I talked about quarries a little bit on the last video, but basically what they do is it mines out a really big hole and gives you all the resources. So we're going to go ahead, I need to go back down into the caves because in order to get a quarry built, I think you need something like, oh, I believe it's 13, no, maybe it's, it's 10 diamonds. I think you need 3 for a pick and then eight for each gear so that would be eleven diamonds so I'm a little I'm a few diamonds short you need some gold too but I got pl I got a little bit of gold so I should probably go ahead and pick up some more because I think I need uh, something like sixteen gold so I need a little more gold so I'm, I'm gonna need resources in general I'm gonna go ahead and sleep hopefully some of my crops will grow so I can get myself some food because right now I have nothing oh All right, I guess we have to move our bed down a little bit farther Let's put it down here. Hopefully in the next episode, I might make the next episode strictly a building one, where I kind of clean this up a little bit, make this look a little, little, little bit nicer, uh, get myself a proper bedroom, maybe expand the workshop just a little bit. I'd like to get, uh, start getting some books made so I can get some light, so I can get some bookshelves made, so I can get a library built so that I can make an enchanting table. Let's go ahead and deal with these angry spiders out here. I do have some sugar cane growing. Where you at, bro? He's not angry at me. I also like to get a, an automatic sugarcane farm going, which is no. I hate you and everything you stand for. You're a bad person. I need to secure the outside of this area a little bit better. Let me turn this music down a little bit. I feel like I'm shouting. I basically just light up the whole area outside my house so monsters aren't spawning ridiculously through the night. so creepers aren't falling all into my business. So but I, I really, really want get to the, get the quarry going so I can get all this other stuff built while it just runs and gathers me resources. What's up, buddy? You can stay there. Let's try not to get lost like crazy this time. But I do remember there just being tons and tons of... Actually, I have tons of eggs. And tons of eggs, and I think I have tons of pumpkins too. I need a decent amount, so maybe we'll make some pumpkin pie. Which, interestingly, I don't like in real life. I feel like when I'm one of the few people that doesn't like pumpkin pie. Let's see. Yes, pumpkins. Eggs. I believe it's just sugar after that. Mmm, pie. I'll go ahead and follow that little arrow that I left myself last time. I believe it's right around this corner somewhere. Somewhere? Somewhere? No? Farther down, maybe? Well, I don't know. We're pretty much just going to kind of pick a direction and just start going. I ain't afraid of you. I ain't scared. That kind of scared me a little bit, won't lie. We need to find diamond, so we need to get deep. I like to avoid just straight strip mining. It gets a little boring, and I don't want to just turn all the lava pools into obsidian and walk on them, which is actually a really good way to find diamond, because I need the lava for 
my lava cells. So we're at this level. Let's see if I can't find some ways around. Slimes. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh, oh, oh. He was so young. See you, creeper. I ain't want nothing to do with any of y'all. Keep it. But yeah, the new Enderman sound effect is just... That is just a terrifying thing if you're not expecting it. I give them a lot of props, the dev team. That sound is just horrible. And by horrible, I mean amazing. Uh, we'll just keep going through the ravine, keep lighting as we go, explore more of it, hope we find something neat. I'm planning on starting a playthrough of Darksiders 2, which I'm going to run kind of in tandem with this Minecraft playthrough. So, hopefully I, I bought the game. Oh boy, why, why, why? I don't like you. Um, I bought the game back when it first came out. I actually pre-ordered the game, and I ended up playing Darksiders 1, which I got for free for pre-ordering. And I never played Darksiders 2, so it'll be a blind playthrough, which is nice, because it'll be nice and fun for me, something new that I'm not done yet. And hopefully it'll make good videos. The ravine ended. This makes me sad. Hey! Okay. Where? Alright, you can keep it. There's the gold I needed. That's good. To start. Here another stuck slime. There's another fat slime somewhere that's stuck, isn't it? Ouch. Fatty. Give me your balls. It looks like we've pretty much tapped out this area for easily explored for diamond. Oh, hello. Alright, screw it. Go ahead and check down here, see what's around. What's up, buddy? Yeah, again, with as with most cases where I see a creeper from afar, I'm not dealing with you. At all. I just need to keep my mouth shut. Every time I say something, I get attacked by creepers. I didn't even say YOLO this time. Um, I think these lava pools are very big, which means I'm not going to find much if I... Uh, it's just that. Uh, no, that's great. So I said I wasn't going to do this, but I'm pretty far away from home at this point, so this is probably not the lava that I'm going to be using as a fuel source. So... Oh, no, no. Oh. Why? Why would you do this to yourself? Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That could have been bad. I was say, let's see. What is going? I'm not okay with this. Or this. You gravel. And you gravel in your ridiculous physics. This is foolish and dumb, but it's gonna happen. Well, God damn it, gravel. Okay, could this be it? Could this be what I've been looking for? At the right level, we're in new areas. We're gonna meet new people, make some friends, and not find any more diamond. Oh! No. Oh, oh, oh! And there we are. Diamonds. One. One diamond. Sad face. Make sure there's none hiding in the area around it. Come on, don't do me like this. Don't do me like this game. It did me like this. Alright, finally. I even mined out all around it just so I could show it off. I have the one diamond that I found earlier. I have three more diamonds here. That puts me at... Ooh. 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 It was worth it. It was all worth it. So, I now have plenty of diamonds. I'll be definitely up to 11. Three pickaxes. What? Hey. Nice string, bro. Do you even string, bro? Don't do it. Don't do it. You have so much to live for. So as I was saying, um, yeah, three pickaxes later. Um, God knows how much rotten flesh I had to eat to keep myself fed and alive. It's been a hell of a journey, but finally we have our diamonds. We can go back up top and hopefully, for the love of God, I really, really hope get a quarry build after all this. So I'll see you guys topside. 
And for the record, this is my inventory now. 32 silver ore, 1 stack of iron, 10 more iron, 3 stacks of redstone, almost a stack of gold, a bunch of cobblestone. Yeah, I was down there for a very long time, and I'm so glad to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my inventory up, and then come back, and we'll hopefully get a quarry built. All right, guys, so here is the recipe for our quarry. And as you can see, it takes a lot of diamond, as these are diamond gears. Each diamond gear requires four diamonds, so four and four is eight, plus three for the pickaxe. That puts us at 11. Each diamond gear also requires gold gears. Each one of those requires four gold, so we need a total of 16 gold. And each of the gold gears also requires iron gears, which also requires four iron each. So we are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 iron. A quarry is not cheap, but it is very worth it. So I'm going to go ahead, get all this stuff put together, and then we'll have our quarry. Alright guys, I got everything set up to get and build my quarry. So let's go ahead and start. The first thing, major component of quarries is gears. And gears start with wooden gears, which, as, they, as it sounds, starts with wood. We need seven gears total, so four sticks in such a shape. Gives you a wooden gear. Then you surround a wooden gear with cobblestone, gives you stone gear. Surround a stone gear with iron, gives you an iron gear. You kind of start to get the idea. And then surround the iron gear with our diamonds, gives us our diamond gear. Our pickaxe. And we should be good to go. I forgot something. <laughs> One piece of redstone, of course. So we got our gears, pickaxe, redstone, diamond, gold, iron, quarry. Fortunately, quarries are non-industrial craft items. That means the power that I'm producing out of these generators into this bat box, I can't use it. Not directly, anyways. It requires special engines and it requires special piping. We'll get into that on the next episode. So thank you guys, and as always, stay sharp.